in his early days, he was a little bit immature and quirky. You know, he's progressed through the ranks and, um, you know, he probably made his breakthrough when he won uh, the, uh, the Silver Cup at, at Royal Ascot, which was a poignant moment because it was our first season in Newmarket, having moved up from Sussex and my first Royal Ascot winner. So yeah, you know, very specially in, you know, he'll always, uh, will always show him a lot of gratitude because of what he's done for me. He's been such a superstar for the whole yard, for the whole team, for the owners. And yeah, he's just, you've got to love him. He's so, such a legend, really. So Ascot was pretty amazing. It was um, uh, for William as well. It was our first Royal Ascot winner. And then also when he won the group two at York, it was actually my and Fergus wedding day. So, you know, he hasn't won for a long time. And then he went and did it on our wedding day. So we were already quite emotional. And then him to go and win a group two, it was, it was exceptional, yeah. And obviously he did us proud in the Judmund as well when he finished third behind such good horses. So, yeah, a star. For your own advertisement, it's good to be seen competing on the international stage. Um, and regards the owners, look, it's fantastic. They've had an amazing time, amazing run of it. It's a great story for them. They travelled to Dubai with him to France. Um, he, they're now got a trip to Saudi. You know, when you're a one sixteenth shareholder, it's you know what you get in it for the dream that that might happen. And uh, you know, in this case, it has. And you no, know, they're just enjoying the ride. And you know, they're all very grateful. They all know they're very lucky that. You know, this is sort of, you know, these horses don't come along that often. So, you know, they're, they're, they're enjoying it and all very appreciative of uh, what Busk has done for them. We just had a nice programme with him, building him up um, for his race the other day at Lingfield. You know, there hasn't been any rush. He sort of got there um, in, in, in his own time. You know, the run helped blow the cobwebs away. Ryan was able to ride in the listed race and look, when you've got Ryan Moore on board then you know, we, were, we were delighted to snap him up and delighted that he stuck with him for the Neil. You know, the gallops here in Newmarket are second to none. You know, you've got it all here on your doorstep. Yika has travelled around the world for me with, with, with him and other horses, so she knows the routine and um, you know, there's a good teamwork of other English trainers out there as well and you know, who she knows the travelling companions and they'll buddy up with each other and help each other out and you know, as I say, we come out as Team British Racing and I, and I think we'll work as a team when they're out there, very, very much so. So obviously we try to get as much done as we can fitness-wise at home with them and then it's all, yeah, packing, making sure you bring everything with you and then making sure they get there safe and also that they settle in, you know, it's quite tiring for them, the long flights and that, so make sure they, yeah, they've well looked after and really take play by ear and see how they all take it, really. <laughs> all, you know, the travelling headlines and the lads, we see each other every day at the races, different meetings, so we all stick together and help each other out. It's a really nice environment to be in and we're like a one big family. I start jumping up and down like a little child when, they, when they're running well or they're about to win. I literally jump up and down, scream, cry. So if he's to do it, then yeah, you can all laugh at us. But it's going to be very emotional if he goes and however he does, I'm sure he'll do us proud. But if he's to go and win, then it will be pretty exceptional, yeah.